you. Something like we said of a certain old deacon, he was so humble he was proud of it. Our so-called austerity can be a source of pride. And therefore a source of sin. Yeah. But we read in one book that Terry Storm is working on the reflections on humility. Can you show that to you? I think I gave you a copy. It's a Christianization of one some Christian work. There's one quote in there that says <clears throat> there are uh, there are people in the spiritual world who never practice uh, uh, giving in charity because when they were in the material world they were beggars themselves. There are people in the material world who never uh, practice celibacy because that wasn't their calling when they were in the material world. There are people who never practice um, different kinds of austerities. There's nobody in the spiritual world who is not humble. So has not practiced humility. Master. 
and then I'm raising it. He said, How many of you are willing to dedicate your life to prayer and sacrifice and penance and then I'm raising it? How many of you are willing to, uh, whatever? Anyway, then I'm raising it. He said, So then they went away. The first ten went away. And when they were away, they had the realization they were talking among themselves that actually, um, maybe, you know, maybe the spiritual master told them, he said, all of them responded the same way when they first came. Then after they were there for 10 years, they, they were thinking, I'm very lazy. I never performed penances. I didn't know they were doing these things. <laughs> I'm very lazy. I'm, I'm not really sacrificing my life for my spiritual ministry. I'm not really praying for sincerity. They, by the association of this very good spiritual ministry, they weren't thinking themselves so great. Whereas the new students were thinking, yeah, we're, we're, we're great. We're all very austere. <laughs> We all work very hard. We're very good. Yeah. Uh, is it possible to obtain knowledge without reading books? And if it is, how is it possible? Not possible without the mercy of Guru or Krishna. If Krishna gives you his mercy, you can gain knowledge from a book, but not without the mercy of Krishna. to have it. <laughs> that you're outside of it. The truth is you already have the knowledge. <laughs> but you don't have the realization. <clears throat> so is it more like an uh, uncovering process more than a learning process? It's like when you get up early in the morning, especially in the winter, it's dark, it's night. And it's night for quite a while. Dark. But gradually it's becoming day. But at a certain point, suddenly it dawns on you, oh, it's day. Now, did it become day like that? But the realization came like that. You're saying we shouldn't seek knowledge, we should seek realization? You shouldn't seek either one. You should simply engage in service. When Krishna says, the truth is to 
that every living being is, is part and parcel. What does that mean? It means they're, they're his servants. They're for his pleasure. So start acting in truth. Start acting for God's pleasure. If you act that way, what's the difference when you got the realization of that? You're in truth. 